Hello guys and welcome to another episode of British Join Up. Today we're back in Wargame Red Dragon and today we'll be doing a little bit more of a different video. Today we're going to be going over the new DLC that was released not so long ago, which is the Norse Dragons. So it's a pretty cool DLC, it's for free, which came out. I think this, this is the third DLC um, for Wargame Red Dragon, which is pretty cool. It basically includes a few new units, majority um, for NATO. But there is, I believe there is a few in Red 4, but it's mainly focused on the NATO class side of things. So let's have a look inside and see what things have been added. Okay, so let's just start off here in NATO. Okay, so first things first, obviously you've got the coalitions here at the top here. So we've got Eurocorps, Scandinavia, Commonwealth, and Blue Dragons. They're the basic ones that first came in. Uh, with the new DLC release, you now have Landrut and Norad. Which Norad includes Canada and USA, and Landra includes um, Denmark and Germany, which is awesome stuff. So basically, it gives you a little bit more of um, a little bit more variety, what to choose and stuff. And obviously, it kind of gives uh, these players more um, ability in game. Obviously, if they want to prefer these two countries, they have that uh, choice to choose. So, which is pretty awesome stuff. Um, I've been using these two coalitions myself in game. Bit annoying, there's a few bugs at the moment, but I believe they might have uh, fixed them up now, which is pretty good. Um, it's just when I get in game, some of my cars are not there, which kind of sucked. You know, you're trying to get in the game and figure out like, half the units you, you selected haven't been put in game, which kind of kind of uh, disappointing. But it's, I think I believe it'll be fixed now, hopefully. Maybe it isn't, but it eventually will be. So that's pretty cool. So a few, let's just go for some of the units that have been added into the game. So obviously we've got the two new coalitions there, which are very visible to see. Obviously, um, the the units they added um, is for majority is for let me just get rid of the countries is for the Scandinavian countries Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. Um, I don't particularly use these countries as much, but I'll see. We'll, we'll go for and see what units I can kind of pick out that I haven't really seen before, and um, see what units are new and have a little look at them and see what they can, they're capable of doing in game. Let's just start off on the logistics side of things for um, Denmark. I don't think there's much here to be fair. I think actually I think this is new. I'm not entirely sure. I know there's a new logistic unit for one of these. That's it for Sweden, that's the one. This unit here is new. For one of the wheeled logistics. Uh uh that's pretty awesome. It's not amazing with the supply, but you know, it, it's a good vehicle to have, you know, it's a step up. They've got a step up from their old one, which is eight hundred litres, which is pretty cool. Um see if Denmark Norway have got some good units. Uh here we go, it's a logistic unit. This uh this is new as well. Uh, for Norway, which is pretty cool stuff. So now they've got a supply, which is fantastic. Also, look at the CV. This is a new CV unit as well. The XA8, uh, XA186 NOKPV. I believe there's more for the other ones. Oh, yes, one, the strip PBV90. Um, there's a few of these. They used to have it, uh, when I saw it yesterday, they used to have it with the, um, the cannon top. They used to have a cannon for like 1,000 meters, which is pretty awesome. I think they still got it in one of the vehicles. We'll have a look through shortly. But that used to be a cannon, but then I put an LMG, which kind of sucks. You can see the cannon there, but you can't see LMG. I guess that, that could be a bug, to be fair, but or they've just changed it. I'm not sure about that. But that's pretty cool. It's an awesome looking vehicle. It's got good armor and everything. Actually, it's good. High explosive power's good. Well, not really for LMG, but it used to be fan. It used to be really pretty awesome with the cannon top. I wonder if that's a bug. I'm not entirely sure about that, to be fair. But yeah, that's a pretty cool vehicle. Let's see what else we've got for um, Denmark. I don't think many CV units have been added to Denmark. I don't think anything has been like, added to the logistics side of things anyway. Okay, so moving on to a bit of infantry. First off, you've got the Denmark FKP or the Naval Commanders, I believe they are. These guys look absolutely beast. Let me just try and get a closer view of them if we can. If you just look at their faces, they look absolutely awesome. I'll try and get a picture of what they look like in real, in real life. I think they are the ones I can, I've can i seen in real life. I'm not entirely sure. I'll try and find a picture of for you guys and get up on screen now. But I think it's a pretty awesome looking unit. They're beastly and they look mean with the, the face scream over their face, which would be pretty cool. Okay, show information. So grid. I think that's pretty much all that's been added for the infantry for um, Denmark. Let's have a look at Sweden. Um, I don't think much be added for Sweden for infantry. Are these guys look new? I'm not entirely sure. Um... I know these guys down here, these engineers, the Storm Pioneer, Jaegers, these guys are new, or Jaeger, Pioneer Engineer, I don't know how to pronounce that myself. Um, obviously he's kitted out with the STRF 9040, uh, 9040, which is pretty awesome. So there's the cannon you see there. See, 1,925 and actually 60. High explosive power and AP power, so you can engage tanks as well, which is pretty awesome. Good armor as well, so good um, 
uh, and uh, armored fighting vehicles, basically the same as like the Warrior or the Bradley or the Marder. It's based in that, in that variety. I think it's pretty awesome. I think it look, I think it's actually a, bit, a little bit better than most of them. It's got a bit better armor and stuff like that. I'm not quite sure. I'm looking at the, the statistics there between them all. But that's pretty awesome stuff. You know, Sweden's got their own sort of armored fighting vehicle now, which is pretty cool. And those guys look pretty awesome too. Flipping heck. Like gas masks. What a beast. <laughs> that's good, doesn't it? Right, moving on. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um... Let's go to Norway. Anything new? I think these guys here, the Falcon Dragons, are new as well. These are like airborne units, kind of like similar to the German um, bases, similar to the German Falcon Dragons and uh, airborne for USA and paratroop regiment, uh, paratroop regiment in the uh, United Kingdom. That's pretty cool. And obviously got these Storm uh, engineers as well here, which is pretty cool uh, for Norway, which is awesome because now we've got a bit more variety, there, which is good stuff, you know, which is pretty awesome stuff. Okay, moving on now, let's go back down to Denmark and look at some port support units. Okay, these are two units that I saw that were added. I believe this is one. I think it was added or maybe an update. I'm not entirely sure, to be fair. But an EOTS Hawk. Pretty awesome stuff. Look at that. Airplane accuracy uh, range, I say. is 4,000 meters. That's pretty awesome stuff, that is. Accuracy is 50. It's a pretty good vehicle, to be fair. And uh, the next one that's been a big one for the update, I think most people say is really awesome, is this vehicle here. It's called Automatic. It is absolutely a monster. I think it bypasses by far um, the German Flat Panzer. Let's just get up down so we can kind of compare to what the Flat Panzer looks like uh, compared to the automatic. Let's go back to automatic. There we go. So now we got. Um, oh, where did it go? No. Disappeared. So let's just compare the results. Here we go. So we got the automatic helicopters 2975. Uh, Flak Panzer 2008, 2800, so it's better there. Um, airplanes 2975, Flak Panzer 2065, Axis 10% better in the Flak Panzer, which I guess is understandable. It's got AP power and high explosive power as well. High explosive power is 3 and AP power is 12. Jesus. Suppression for a 4 and 60 rounds per minute. Jesus, that is a beast. So this vehicle, I've heard that it can engage tanks as well. Obviously, you see it's got an AP power there, so it's able to do so, which is bloody awesome. So you can use this vehicle as a fighting vehicle as well, if need be. So it can actually defend itself, and it's got good armor as well. So, obviously, the flat pans are pretty vulnerable to tanks and stuff like that. This can actually fight against them, which is pretty awesome stuff. 12 AP power for an AA gun. That's bloody brilliant. Let's have a look. I believe some tanks have got low AP power there. Look at that, look. That's got an AP power of 8, and that's a tank. That's ridiculous. What is the cheapest tank? But still, flipping heck. That's flat. This has about the same AP power as a Centurion. That is ridiculous. Okay, so let's move on to support for the Sweden or Switzerland. What do I mean Switzerland? Flipping X. Sorry, my bad. Sweden. Uh, Swiss. Okay, so we got like uh, the AMOS. Basically, it's like a mortar of the armored fighting vehicle. So it's basically, what they've done is just got this vehicle and just converted into a mortar armored fighting vehicle CV unit, which is pretty cool stuff. And obviously, here we've got an artillery unit as well. Is that R2? No, that's AA, my bad. So, and bloody hell, helicopter 2,000 meters. That's a pretty awesome AA unit as well. It's really a guy, which is fantastic. Um, I believe another one unit they added as well is this bad boy. It looks like a monster, as you can see. Um, range is good. Dispression is okay. Well, that's pretty good, to be fair. 4,000. A little bit lower would be nice, but still, that's a really good vehicle. 12 rounds per minute, which is awesome. So you're basically firing um, two rounds every 10 seconds, which is pretty cool stuff. High explosive power 7, so it's a good vehicle. That is a really good artillery piece that I've now added for Sweden, which is awesome stuff. Um, see if there's anything for Norway. I don't quite think... Oh yeah, here you go. Um, NA Sams. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, it kind of sucks in a way because it's say 85 points to buy, and the one below it, NOAH, uh, is 70 points to buy. And the helicopter range of the NOAA... Let me just put, put, put these next to each other. So you have a little difference now. The, they've got the same helicopter range, alright, that's fair enough, but the airplane range on the um, NA SAM is shorter than uh, NOAA. Um, but I think you're basically realistically playing for is those six missiles instead of three. And actually it's the same, high explosive power is low on the, the new one, and suppression is low on the new one, reload time is the same. You're basically paying for a little bit more speed to get to a location and... Um, Three extra missiles, more or less, which I guess can be uh, good in a tactical situation. Which is pretty cool stuff. I don't think many tanks were added, to be fair. Let's just scroll through. I don't think no. One of these tanks, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. I've never really used this, uh, these countries before. There's a CCTV camera on that. That's pretty cool. 
Flip deck. All right, uh, moving on uh, to recon. I think I saw a few of these. You've got the AS350, which is pretty cool. Scrolling down, you've got the EPBF, so the armored fighting vehicle again in recon, which is pretty cool stuff as well. Um, vehicles, got it again there. Also, Denmark have it now, so that's pretty cool. All right, that's Norway, my bad. So Norway have one of these fighting vehicles. So it's pretty awesome stuff the way they can spread anything out now. And they've got a few more um, armored armored vehicles. It's awesome stuff for the capability of these uh, Scandinavians, which is what obviously people want. And I think there's only a few new aircraft. I think it's for Sweden they added it. Here it is, the JS-39 Gripen. Pretty awesome looking player. At first, when I first saw it in the pictures, I thought it was um, a um, Red 4 unit, but it's actually not. It's uh, for Sweden, which is pretty cool. There goes my phone. Sorry about that. So it's an awesome looking vehicle. Aircraft, should I say. Um, this is air superior fire. It's actually right at the top there, to be fair, with obviously like Eurofire, Typhoon, um, F-16s, stuff like that. So it's a pretty awesome aircraft. Look at that. 7,000 and range and airplane. So it's a good airplane to be added. So that, that's a definitely step up for the Swedish Air Force, which is awesome. Um, I don't quite think there's much units. I think there's six units that are added. Um, and obviously most of those are in Scandinavia, which just went through. Um... Um, one of the vehicles I saw that was updated, oh, I believe was, one of my friends said it was, um, was the Trap Rapier for United Kingdom. But I think there's also some more units around there. Um, I think there was some Vickers tanks or something like that, even the Anzac. Let's just have a look through. I think I, heard, I saw it in the list, something like a Vickers vehicle. Um, scroll down here. Here it is, the Vickers MK11. This was as well. <laughs> that looks so weird that massive turret on top of this uh, small little vehicle looks strange as hell but it's that is really cool to be fair 50 points for a cannon that uh a turret should i say it's 2000 points. that's about the same length of a blooming tank that is an awesome looking vehicle high explosive power ap power 17 jesus that is really op isn't it flipping heck that is an awesome looking vehicle I think that would do some damage if you get a few of those in a tree line. That can hold off some good tanks. That's pretty awesome, to be fair. Okay, um, so there's that's pretty much it, to be fair. What I could see that's uh, been added. It's mainly been the majority of um, units um, for these countries. Uh, let's look at the war. There we go. Go back to Scandinavia. So it's pretty cool. Um, adding all these different units now. Now they're starting to get a few more things. Gives a bit more variety out there for people to do. So it's pretty cool, to be fair. So now we've got that more variety out there. It's awesome stuff for that adding more units, which is really good. So kind of gives uh, more availability for Scandinavian units, and obviously now you've got two coalitions, which is awesome. So yeah, that pretty much goes over the cover uh, of the the Norse Dragons DLC. To be fair, um, until I see more stuff, I'll try to get some in-game footage for you guys if you if you want to. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope to. Uh, Got a good bit of insight on the new DLC, and I'll see you soon.